Welcome back to my channel. I am Audrey Lynn Seralda Komdere Gnosis. Gnosis for those who do not speak my tongue. Gnosis is a combination of two syllables, no and sis. First one is an anagram for Anu and the second sis is for Isis. It's not a coincidence that Gnosis is associated with the Gnostic belief. I am Gnosis, the knowledge of the age of Aquarius. I am also the Empress of the Earth, the rightful Empress of the Earth that was enthroned on the 9th of September 2023. So the throne of the Earth belongs to me rightfully by divine right, soul right and blood right. Today's message is about Agnes Samaria. We are only going to focus on the name uh, Agnes Samaria. Agnes Samaria was one of my friends or uh, she is a woman from my hometown, but also a very, very close friend that I had at the university. Now, Agnes means holy, pure, or chaste. And Samaria means watchtower. Or it is also biblically one of the ancient cities uh, of central Israel. So I will focus on this. Uh, um, ancient times or ancient biblical location of the name, uh, both as a watchtower but also as a uh, um, central Israelite or Israel town or city pertaining to the dream I'm going to explain now. On the 6th or the 7th or the a.m. of the 7th of September 2023, I had a dream of her, Agnes Samaria, standing under the tree at the university now the university i've explained in one of my videos before that any higher learning institution is a institution of programming of this nefarious ones it doesn't matter which university you go to it is an institution of mind control or programming or uh, putting you in a specific direction or destiny that you were not destined for especially if you do not do not know who you are so she was standing under a tree at the university and waiting for mark now mark is one uh, is her husband in the current lifetime now a mark is also mark also represents a sign so she was waiting for a sign under the tree tree represents a family tree or tree of life now, the reason why I connect this to a family tree is because she was also in one of my dreams or visions where she was um, my child in the days of Hatshepsut. Now, the other dream I had on the 15th of September, she was driving the car, I was in the passenger seat, and another younger girl or woman was in the back seat just behind me. So... She drove the car and parked it right behind a big truck. And she just got off without pulling the handbrake. And the person that was now, or me who was sitting on the passenger seat, I jumped over to the driver's seat and then I pulled the hand uh, handbrake and I pulled the car, reversed the park, uh, reversed the car back safely. Because the big truck that was there would have crossed if that person uh, reversed the truck without looking whether there was any vehicle parked at the back, they would just have crossed the smaller car. And when it was parked also without the handbrake, it went slowly into the back of the truck. But I was able to uh, um, reverse it back safely, miraculously. Now, I've also spoken about me being part of the triplets, the triple goddesses, Hatshepsut, we were triple goddesses, the three sisters of the belt of Orion. That's where the Bible also talks about who will loosen the belt of Orion, who will separate the umbilical cord of the belt of Orion, who will separate the three sisters. So the belt of Orion represents the three sisters and also three kings. Uh, important thing that people need to note is that the three kings and three sisters are the rulers of the earth. 
the sister mothers with their divine consorts. Now, when she parked the car without or whether that was done intentionally, because I believe it was done purposefully because she was waiting for a sign at the institution of programming. And that sign was to pull that car or park that car behind that truck so that the truck driver or whoever who was going to drive that truck can reverse and crush the car, make it seem like an accident killing me and the person that was behind in the car or the woman which as i said we are triple goddesses so you will not know exactly in terms of the three of us which one was really in the passenger seat whether it was me because she was exactly my image or the one that they have right now uh, in this uh, on the 9th of september before i was enthroned the one who has suffered a neck wound and who i supported before she transitioned now, the very important thing is this. She was waiting, waiting for a, a mark or a sign to carry out the plan because it was intentional. Parked the car and just left the car. And I was not able, or my twins, a triple, twin sist, a triple sister was able to pull the car uh, um, out safely. So this is one of the failed plans and rituals of the nefarious ones because whoever it was, one of our children from the ancient days of their past lifetimes that they were programming to kill us, to kill her that was in the uh, passenger seat that looked exactly like me, which I believe she is the one who was now giving them still the ownership of the throne as the rulers, as the imposter rulers and thieves of the throne, the identity thieves that have stolen the throne. And she was still giving them that uh, um, bloodline authority or bloodline permission to, to rule this earth. So what happened is the one who was behind, which I believe it was me. So in this specific dream of the, of the ninth of the plan where they had wounded her, they had a plan to kill her and also to kill me who is coming after her because I only got enthroned after she died um, uh, with that uh, neck wound that uh, she suffered from. So... The failed ritual was whoever it is that was waiting, whom I later found out it was Michael Jackson. Because Agnes means pure, holy. Michael is also one of our ancient uh, past lifetime children. And Michael means the messenger of God or messenger of the Most High, the Holy One. So pure, holy, and Michael is one of the people we know he is pure, he is he is a quiet person and who he is also one of the people who really guided me through the search or journey of uh, fighting for this throne. Now, I'm not putting any judgment on him for now because everything and everyone has to wait up for the judgment day to really see what role it is they have played in this lifetime, whether he was part of the divine witnesses or whether he participated and sided with the nefarious ones, the planetary criminals, willingly. And because he was under a, uh, at the institution of programming, I believe that he also was under a specific spell or programming or manipulation to carry out this ritual to kill the mother, the one who was in the throne right now, or who had given these nefarious beings, uh, um, Obama. Donald Trump and all these beings, their allies, the right to continue uh, in our throne as the rulers of the earth. So, like I said, I do not judge him for now, but I want to make sure if he is, if he did not uh, play a part knowingly from the beginning, then he must, uh, then he is innocent and he must repent if he was under any kind of control. But if he plotted and planned out this uh, whole thing with the nefarious ones to try to get rid of them, the one, the one that they kept, uh, the one that they took captive and was were abusing because I had dreams of how they were abusing her. If he did not uh, participate in this plan with them, knowingly and willingly, then he is acquitted. And if he was a divine witness, then he is also acquitted. But if he was doing it willingly then he is 
in trouble because I have seen one of the tweets uh, on Twitter and I've also replied on that where he is in a picture which I will put also here you can see it on the screen where he is part of the white supremacists agenda of the so-called saviors now I also strongly believe the fact that Michael Jackson's skin color turned from a black skin tone to a lighter or white skin tone I believe it was part of the plan of the nefarious ones whether it was him agreeing to that or them tricking him uh, to have vertigo the skin uh, disorder or skin uh, um, condition so they can lie to him and trick him into this thing of the white supremacist rule that that Donald Trump and his allies are planning which I already told him and told them Donald Trump and all of their allies that they will not succeed so that's the reason why I feel strongly this was Michael Jackson who was now in the image of Agnes Samaria so understand nefarious ones no one has the right to the throne of this earth besides me because I have already been enthroned no child of our womb whether it's from the past or present or future can have a part in this throne only in the future after the restoration when a child or a king or the son especially because it's only the sons that are ruling co-ruling it's only the sons that are co-ruling with the mother father Elohim of the seed the mother father God of the seed it is the sons that are being in the forefront they are the kings who will rule with us so a son or a king who hasn't been trained by the father of the throne is not qualifying to have uh, um, the right to the throne of this earth the nefarious ones have done it with Obama but this time they are not going to succeed with Michael Jackson or any of my seeds 19 keys or any one of the seeds that they have plotted and planned with stealing from our womb spaces and then they will surrogate mother them and then use them against their own mothers and against their own brothers and sisters and even against the father of the throne so this is not going to happen this lifetime we have explained already in Isaiah 54 that the sons my sons and the sons of the sister mothers of the throne of this earth will be trained by the creator father they will be trained by the father that's the reason why we have already started gathering Israel Israel means Isis flame with the Elohim or El Israel we have already gathering our children children from our different lifetimes that have been, uh, that have, that were stolen or that have been stolen from our womb spaces uh, womb uh, snatch womb snatched and 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 they have been surrogate mother red or raised by different other people throughout the nations of the earth so we have children that are white or so-called white they are uh, um, brown and they are also black so we have children throughout the nations of the earth because these beings have been planning how they will steal our throne using our children using uh, our seeds that they have stolen from our womb so this is not gonna happen and this is not gonna uh, save them this lifetime that you must know nefarious ones get getting Michael Jackson in your group of the white supremacists because the way that picture looks it's all about white supremacy listen white supremacists have no place here on this earth because they are the ones who are starting race wars I've spoken about the connection and alliance of Elon Musk and Donald Trump it's not a coincidence that Elon Musk comes from South Africa that is a very racist country and Donald Trump is there in in the Americas with a hidden white supremacist agenda so it is not a coincidence that this specific Twitter account is tweeting about Donald Trump and his allies that are coming back to save the earth or save the Americas and they are all white skinned 
I will talk about how they have been turning or how they are turning black skin people into white skin individuals. The same they have done to my sister, mother, the one they have wounded in the neck. She was a black woman. I've spoken about Melan Melania. She, her name means black skinned. She was a black woman. So remember this, people. They will not prosper this lifetime. We have come back to get our throne back. This is Audrey and Sarel that come during Moses. This is the throne of the air. Isis speaking this message that no child has access to the throne of this earth this lifetime until we have restored the throne of this earth. No child of, from our womb has any access to the throne of this earth. None of them. Not the daughters, not the sons, until we have restored and we have restored our children and we have restored the th crowns and the thrones and the books and the relics and all the things that belongs to us, to ourselves, back to us. Until then, no child and nobody has the has access to the throne. And the United, uh, United States of America's presidency, Donald Trump's dream, it will not happen. He will, it will probably only happen because people are still sleeping, but he knows that he is not qualifying to be on, uh, to be the president of the United States because the United States seat belongs to me, Audrey and Sarah, the Comdre Noses, and because I have been enthroned as the mother of the earth. In the absence of my divine sisters, in the absence of the two sisters, I am now the owner of the earth and the owner of the throne of the United States, the United Kingdom, and of the whole earth. So remember, the rightful owners must come back, and then we will do the rightful, equal, righteous, and just division of what belongs to who. Therefore, no child, no seed of us has any access to the throne of this earth. And like I said, these nefarious ones will not let go of the throne. Therefore, we will, if they do not accept my invitation to leave this earth peacefully, then they will get the war that they are challenging. So they must listen, and I hope they choose life in, instead of war, because there are so many innocent and ignorant beings right now roaming around on this earth that we need, that I need to save. Even though many of you say there is nobody coming to save you. No, I'm here to save you. If I do not save you, you are on the, your way to be slaughtered as sheep because you don't understand what this war is about. You only think this is a galactic war or this is a spiritual war, but you don't know that this war is about the throne of this earth. And no, many of you do not even know whose throne this earth is. So understand, you have a savior, and I am speaking and negotiating and giving my requests and decrees to the galactic powers, galactic warriors, councils, judges, and warriors, and speaking my decree, requ requests, etc., so we can free the earth, and we can free our uh, throne, and our children, and loved ones, and sentient beings here on earth without causing destruction of our earth, because that can be done. But if they challenge war, then war can also happen. So understand, you have a savior here on this earth, whether you like it or not, whether you acknowledge it or not. At this moment, I don't care. You just need to know you have a savior. And I am working on that so that not many of you get destroyed in this war that will come if these beings do not give back the throne of this earth. And if they do not willingly leave to be re, uh, rehabilitated somewhere else on another planet. But that I will explain more about how rehabilitation on different planets also take place. But for now, remember nefarious ones. Remember Michael Jackson. Remember Obama. You are now off. Your time is over because they have used you, used you, and they have discarded you. Now they were looking for a new one that came from a womb to use them against me and against the throne but that has failed because my divine awareness is my divine magic and that already secured my enthronement so understand that none of my children or children of my sister mothers 
will take the seat this lifetime because all authority and power of the throne of this earth has been given to me in this age of Aquarius.